Hi, my name is Mike Hesser. I'm with Eastern Engineering, and I'd like to introduce the HP DesignJet XL3800. This printer will print six architectural D size drawings per minute using pigment ink. Pigment ink means your drawings come out of the machine watertight and ready to go out to the job site. Let's go over the physical attributes of uh, this machine. Uh, the ink tanks are here. Those are 500 milliliter ink tanks. Very easy to replace. We've got a top stacker uh, that has a capacity of 100 sheets. You've got an integrated color scanner for copying and scanning. We have two paper drawers that will hold up to a 650 foot long paper roll on a three inch core. Over here we have a 15 inch color touchscreen interface uh, with HP's one touch design. You have access to a USB drive right here so you can print from a USB drive or scan to a USB drive. Let's take a quick look at the uh, footprint of this machine. This uh, machine is 26 inches deep by 63 inches wide. This is a very small compact uh, device, but very, very powerful. The first uh, print will come out in 20 seconds. It uh, uses a Linux-based controller to help keep your network safe and also uses HP Wolf protection. It is to change ink in the XL3800. This is what an ink tank looks like. It is a cardboard ink tank with a plastic frame, um, so that's very environmentally friendly. To change ink out, we go over here to supplies, and we tell it we're going to replace the ink tank. The one nice thing that HP does is gives you intuitive step-by-step -step video on how to uh, replace the ink. So if we come over here, you simply push on the ink, it pops out. You take the new ink tank, put it in place, push it in until it locks. It will check the ink tank, make sure that you have it seated correctly, and you have just replaced ink. I'd like to show you how easy it is to load paper into the XL3800. With other devices, you have to deal with a spindle and end caps. So you would have to load the roll onto the spindle, take off this end cap, put the end cap back on, load it into the machine. With the HP XL3800, this is a spindleless system, so nothing comes out of the paper drawer except for the paper roll itself. So we'll go over here to paper and we'll say load. And again, HP shows you how to load a roll of paper here at the interface. And also, there are instructions printed right here in the paper uh, drawer. So to take out the old roll, we unlock here, slide that spindle that stays into the uh, stays in the uh, the paper drawer. Take out the old roll, three inch core up to a 650 foot long roll. We take the new roll, put it onto the spindle, lock this into place, lock it, and then start the paper under this lip. The drawer will automatically take the roll. It automatically detects the width of the paper. Once you've loaded the roll here, you have to go back up here to the touch screen interface and tell it what you loaded. If you put the same paper in, then you just hit finish and check. The device will check to make sure that you have the uh, paper aligned properly in the paper drawer. A little bit about the quality of the XL3800. As you can see, we're printing uh, line drawings, color line drawings here in the back, six architectural D size drawings per minute. 
I printed this rendering a little earlier on uh, coated, matte coated polypropylene. Uh, I use the best print uh, quality setting and you can see it does a really, really fine job with colors, uh, fine details. Uh, so if you need good quality on a poster or a rendering, this machine does an excellent, excellent job. Okay. I'd like to show you how easy it is to scan and copy on the XL3800. So you can set your drawing in the scanner and walk up and simply hit one button and send a scan to your network folder. However you have the defaults set, it's going to make that scan. So this is a color, uh, I think we have it set for, for mixed, uh, and you'll get to see here how uh, good this, uh, this scanner does on, uh, on even a rendering. So now I'm gonna take the uh, same drawing and show you the speed of scanning. So when we place this, the uh, drawing on the scanner, you wanna have it center justified and you wanna have it face up. So now I'm gonna go into scanning options and I'm going to choose grayscale lines to uh, get the fastest scan speed we have available. And then I simply hit start. And you can see how quick you can scan line drawings. That will make short work of uh, scanning your blueprints um, for, for archiving or for delivering uh, marked up as builds. So this is the 15-inch uh, color touchscreen interface for the XL3800. It's very easy to use, and HP has designed it so that you can have one-touch operation on whatever activity you want to do. You can see you can walk up and you can hit copy. It will make a copy based on the copy default that you, we have uh, predefined. You can also do the same thing with scanning. You can hit send and it will automatically scan and send it to a network destination, again, depending on the default uh, settings that you have in there. If you need to make an adjustment, all you have to do is go into options where you can, you can adjust uh, what file type uh, you'd like to create. And you can also ch uh, choose the destination and then you just simply hit send. Another couple things to point out is you have a quick snapshot of your job history and also jobs that are coming into the queue. If you want a bigger view of that, hit view all and it'll show you here. You can also reprint uh, jobs from the history queue. You can check the ink supplies and uh, how much ink you have remaining. The uh, this XL3800 actually has a reservoir that holds extra ink so that you can pop the cartridge out while you're printing and re replace it with a new cartridge and not have to stop your printing production. You can check your paper here. You can see in uh, roll one, we have plain paper loaded. I intentionally uh, unloaded roll two so you can see it tells us roll two doesn't have paper in it. Um, so you simply would select this and hit load paper and put whatever what media you're going to put in there. Um, this drop down is kind of cool because if the, the XL3800 sends to you, this is where you find it. It's telling us we're out of paper in roll two. It'll also tell you if you're low on ink and what ink color uh, that is. It'll also show you if jobs are incomplete, but uh, it'll also show if um, you lost your network connection. Things of that nature show up here in this, in this easy to access dropdown. Please uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll get more information on all the exciting things that Eastern Engineering has to offer.